Have you ever wondered why cats come in such a variety of colors and patterns? It's a question that has piqued the curiosity of many. Cats with their stunning array of hues and designs are a testament to nature's artistic prowess. But behind this captivating beauty, there's a fascinating world of science waiting to be explored. Today, we're embarking on a journey that will take us deep into the genetic labyrinth that crafts each cat's unique coat. We'll unravel the mysteries of dominant and recessive genes and how they give rise to the classic tabby or the exotic Bengal patterns. We'll traverse the landscapes of evolution, exploring how nature has painted cats to blend into their surroundings, from the snowy Siberian wilderness to the tall grasses of Africa. We'll delve into the wonderful color spectrum, understanding how cats can sport anything from common gray and orange coats to rare blues and lilacs. And finally, we'll unveil why some cats have stripes, spots, or no pattern at all. So, get ready to dive into the mesmerizing and scientific world of feline colors and patterns. Genetics play a pivotal role in determining a cat's coat. Imagine an artist's palette, but instead of holding dabs of paint, it's filled with genes. Each gene is a unique color, and when they come together they create the beautiful, vibrant patterns we see on our feline friends. Understanding this genetic palette starts with grasping the concept of dominant and recessive genes. Let's simplify it. Dominant genes are the loud, assertive ones. They shout their traits from the rooftops, making sure they're seen. Recessive genes are more like wallflowers, their traits only appearing when there are no dominant genes around to overshadow them. Now, let's take this concept and apply it to cat coat colors and patterns. The tabby pattern, for instance, is one of the most common, and it's dominant. This means if a cat has the gene for a tabby pattern, you're going to see it. No matter what other genes are present, this one's making its mark. On the other hand, the solid coat color is recessive. It only appears when there are no dominant color or pattern genes present. This is why you don't see as many solid color cats as tabbies. But when you do, you know it's a unique genetic combination. Then there are the more exotic patterns like those of the Siamese or Bengal cats. These patterns are the result of a complex dance between multiple genes, each adding their own color to the palette. The Siamese cat's color points, for example, are the result of a temperature-sensitive gene that makes the cooler parts of their body darker. How cool is that? And the Bengals' distinctive rosettes? They're the result of a gene that creates a second color around the basic spots, giving them a halo effect. It's like the cat equivalent of a double rainbow. So the next time you marvel at the myriad of colors and patterns on a cat, remember this. Each cat's coat is a unique masterpiece painted by the brush of genetics. Every stripe, every spot, and every color point is a testament to the incredible power and complexity of genes. It's not just a coat, it's a living, breathing work of art. A cat's environment and evolution have significantly influenced coat colors and patterns. As we delve into this topic, let's imagine an expansive, snowy landscape. In this icy world a Siberian cat roams, its white coat almost indistinguishable against the snow. This is not a coincidence but rather a result of evolution. The white coat offers excellent camouflage, allowing the cat to blend seamlessly into its snowy environment. Now, let's journey from the frigid snowscapes to the tall golden grasses of Africa. Here the African serval, with its striking spotted coat, prowls. These spots are not just for show, they serve a critical purpose providing the perfect disguise among the tall dappled grasses. It's a game of hide-and-seek where the stakes are survival, and these cats are winning. But it's not just about blending in. Cat coat colors and patterns can also be influenced by the need to regulate body temperature. Consider the Siamese cat with its lighter body and darker extremities. This unique coloration known as point coloration is actually a form of thermal regulation. The cooler parts of the cat's body such as the ears, nose, paws, and tail produce more pigmentation, resulting in the distinctive darker points. From snowy landscapes to tall grasses, from the icy north to the hot south, cats have evolved to wear their environments on their coats. But it's not just about survival. This variety also contributes to the beautiful tapestry of feline diversity that we see today. From the common tabby, with its characteristic M on the forehead, to the exotic Bengal, with its richly colored, highly contrasted spots and marbled patterns, each cat is a walking testament to the interplay of genetics, evolution, and environment. And so, as we marvel at the myriad colors and patterns, let's remember that each cat carries a piece of its ancestral home in its coat. Each stripe, each spot, each color is a story of adaptation and survival, woven over thousands of years. 
nature in its infinite wisdom has tailored each cat to its environment. These feline canvases of color and pattern are more than just pleasing to the eye. They are living, breathing works of evolutionary art. Let's delve deeper into the color spectrum of cats. Now you may have noticed that cats come in a variety of hues. From the common grays and blacks to the more unusual blues, lilacs and creams, each color is a testament to the marvel of genetic diversity. But have you ever wondered what's behind these colors? The answer lies in a pigment called melanin. Melanin is the same pigment that gives color to our skin and hair. In cats, there are two types of melanin. Eumelanin, which produces black and brown, and pheomelanin, which produces red and yellow. The type and amount of melanin present in a cat's fur determine its color. Imagine melanin as an artist, painting each strand of fur with its unique shade. A cat with a lot of eumelanin would have a black or brown coat, while a cat with a lot of pheomelanin would sport a red or yellow coat. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Different genes can influence how these pigments are distributed leading to patterns like tabby, tortoiseshell or calico. Additionally, some cats have a special gene that dilutes these pigments giving us those beautiful blues, creams and lilacs. Take the Russian blue for example. This cat's striking blue coat is due to a dilution gene that lightens the black pigment eumelanin to a bluish gray. Or consider the cream Persian, whose soft pastel coat is the result of a dilution of the red pigment pheomelanin to a creamy color. It's also worth noting that these colors can change over time. Factors such as age, diet, and exposure to sunlight can cause subtle shifts in a cat's coat color. So don't be surprised if your black kitten grows up to have a slightly brownish or reddish tint. From common grays to rare lilacs, each cat color is a marvel of nature's design. So, the next time you admire a cat's coat, remember, you're not just looking at a beautiful creature, you're witnessing a living, breathing canvas of genetic artistry. Ever wondered why some cats have stripes, spots, or no pattern at all? Let's unravel this mystery and dive into the captivating world of feline patterns. You see, the patterns in a cat's fur aren't just a result of Mother Nature's artistic whimsy. They're actually a complex manifestation of genetics at work. Patterns like stripes, spots, or solids are primarily determined by two key genes, the tabby gene and the spotting gene. The tabby gene is responsible for creating the stripes you see in cats. If a cat has two copies of this gene, it will have a striped pattern. But what about a solid color cat you ask? Well, they have stripes too, they're just not visible to the naked eye. These hidden stripes are often called ghost markings. On the other hand, the spotting gene is responsible for creating spots or patches of color on a cat's coat. Now here's where it gets interesting. The spotting gene doesn't work alone, it's influenced by other genes as well. That's why you'll find cats with a variety of spotted patterns, from small, scattered spots to larger, blotchy patches. But wait, there's more. Sometimes mutations occur in these genes, leading to entirely new patterns. For instance, the Bengal cat's rosette pattern is believed to be a result of such a mutation. And then there's the case of cats with no discernible pattern at all. These are usually cats with solid white coats. This happens when a cat has a particular genetic marker that suppresses the production of color altogether. So, you see, the patterns you admire in cats are not just pretty to look at. They're a testament to the remarkable interplay of genes and sometimes even random mutations. Each cat pattern is a mysterious puzzle solved only through the lens of genetics. The beauty and complexity of cat genetics are truly captivating. We've journeyed through the fascinating world of feline colors, explored the genetic palette that paints our furry friends in an array of hues and patterns, and marveled at nature's canvas where evolution and environment influence these stunning designs. We've navigated the color spectrum, understanding how common grays and oranges to rare blues and lilacs come to be, and unveiled the mysteries behind why some cats have stripes, spots, or no pattern at all. This intricate dance of genes and environment of evolution and adaptation shapes the cats we know and love. Each stripe, each spot, each color tells a story of survival, adaptation, and the sheer beauty of nature's creativity. Next time you look at a cat, remember the fascinating science that makes them unique. Share your own cat photos or stories, and engage with the magic of feline beauty.